Hey everyone, this is Paul. In this tutorial I'm going to be doing another example on synthetic division. So we've got a big polynomial here, 9x to the 6th power plus 15x to the 5th minus 6x to the 4th plus x squared plus x minus 2 divided by x plus 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to use synthetic division to solve this problem. And uh, once again, for synthetic division to work, we need to have this big polynomial divided by some polynomial in the form of x minus a. So in this case we have an x plus something, we don't have an x minus something, so we need to get this part in the form of x minus something. So the way we do that is we can just rewrite this as x minus negative 2. Because if we subtract a negative it's the same thing as adding so x plus 2 can be rewritten as x minus negative 2, and uh, therefore our a in this case is going to be the negative 2. So now that we've determined our a, we're just going to simply write it over here. Oops, we're not going to write a, we're going to write negative 2. So we're going to write our negative 2 down there, which is our a, and then we're just going to kind of draw this little box thing again like we did in the last tutorial and uh, then we're just going to pull off the coefficients here and uh, starting with the highest we're going to do 9 and then we have, so we have x to the 6th, x to the 5th, our coefficient is going to be 15 for x to the 4th our coefficient is negative 6 and notice that we don't have an x to the 3rd term but we still need to uh, account for that so we're going to put a 0 for the coefficient of x to the 3rd so this is x to the 6th, 5th, 4th, 3rd, now we're at x to the 2nd, which has a coefficient of 1. And then uh, x to the 1st has a coefficient of 1, and then we have our, co our constant term, which is negative 2. So to start the synthetic division process now, we just simply drop the first coefficient down below. And then we take that coefficient, we multiply it by our a term, so 9 times negative 2 is a negative 18. We write that in the next available space here. Then we take this number, add it to this number. 15 plus a negative 18 gives us a negative 3. The numbers down here we multiply against the a term. So negative 3 times a negative 2 gives us a positive 6. Adding these two together, negative 6 plus a positive 6 gives us 0. 0 times our negative 2 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 times our negative 2 once again is 0. Now we have a 1 plus 0 which is 1. 1 times a negative 2 is a negative 2. 1 plus a negative 2 is a negative 1. And then negative 1 times negative 2 is a positive 2. Then adding these together, negative 2 plus a positive 2 give us a remainder of 0. So now we have the coefficients of our answer. And because we were dividing into a 6 degree polynomial, we basically go 1 less than the degree here, so 6 minus 1 is 5, so therefore this is the coefficient of x to the 5. So this is 9 times x to the 5, and uh, then it's minus 3 times x to the 4th, and then we have 0x to the 3rd, 0x to the 2nd, so this would be... 1x to the first, or just 1 times x, which is x, and then minus 1. So this is our answer here. I'll go ahead and write that in a little bit better form here. So our answer is 9x to the fifth, minus 3x to the fourth, plus x minus 1. So that is the answer to this division problem that is given up above here. There we go. So this right here, is equal to this. So anyway, that is another example of how to use synthetic division. Uh, take this big polynomial here, divide it by x plus 2, and you get this polynomial here. So anyway, thanks for watching. You guys have an excellent day. Stay tuned for the next tutorial. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.